welcome to yet another episode right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network coming to you each and every day, Monday through Friday. The Instagram and the Twitter handle is The Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Don't forget to visit our website, become a listening partner today by simply going to obnradio.com. And without further delay, we'll go right into today's episode. Before we get started, I want to recognize two things. How about them Cleveland Browns? They believe that they found the answer in Baker Mayfield. We'll see how that pans out. Browns getting their first win in two years. My beloved Stillers struggled and are still struggling. I'm just glad it wasn't us. <laughs> and we want to recognize our little brother Kadaro Hodge. He got the call to move on up to the 53-man roster for the Los Angeles Rams. Of course, we're extremely excited for him and his very bright future. Speaking of a bright future, Prairie View, A&M University are still in the hunt for an athletic director. Had two visitors in the last two weeks. We won't disclose the names just yet, but the search is still on. I am so thankful to you guys on helping making this show what it is, what it has become, or what it shall be. I let it be known about Jackson State signing with Nike in regards of their new apparel deal. And I was not real sure on who was what and where. So I sent out the Macedonia call. And you guys, like clockwork, responded. I had several different responses and replies by way of YouTube, by way of Twitter, by way of Facebook. And I truly, truly appreciate you guys. So here is the updated version as of at least yesterday, as far as we know. Alabama A&M is with Nike. Alabama State is with Adidas. Alcorn State is with Adidas, although they have yet to sign their contract. They're still discussing a few things, ironing out a few wrinkles. Grambling State with Adidas. Of course, we reported Jackson State with Nike. Mississippi Valley is yet to strike a deal with any company. So they are still in the Russell gear. Prairie View a &M University, Adidas, Southern University, Under Armour, Texas Southern, Under Armour. And it appears that Arkansas Pine Bluff has yet to sign an apparel deal with anyone. So there you have it. Pine Bluff and Valley State have yet to sign deals. Everybody else has been assigned. Thank you all so much for chiming in and helping us stay accurate on our reporting want to let you know that you too can be a part of giving story feeds, of even possibly questioning, commenting, concerning anything that's going on here on the Mike Prince Show. We have a 24-hour message line. That number is simply 713-570-6736. You call in, leave your information, and we'll make sure that we handle the rest. And speaking of handling the rest, 
It is time for me to disclose my picks for our three games of the week. Of course, you know, Prairie View will always be a featured game of the week right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Mike Prince Show. But I had the luxury of picking a MEAC and a SWAC game of the week other than the Prairie View game. And my MEAC game of the week was Bethune-Cookman and Howard. And I am going with Howard in this one by the score of 24 to 17. I had a real difficult time in my SWAC game of the week, which features Grambling State and Alabama State. Now, everybody is somewhat in alarm that Grambling State is 0-2. They got off to a slow start, had not moved the ball like they anticipated, still trying to find out who's going to hold it down at the quarterback position. We're still talking about the conference defending champion for the last couple of years. We're still talking about a team with the nucleus of the coaching staff, that being Coach Roderick Fobbs. And it's hard to go against the G-men, even with Coach Ely doing what he has done with Bama State. However, I am going to say this game is going to be closer than anticipated, but the G-men will find a way to win. And I'm going to say the final score will be Grambling 31, Alabama State 28. And our Prairie View Pine Bluff game I believe that Prairie View has enough in the tank to take care of business on their fifth consecutive road trip and find a way to be victorious over the Golden Lions by 17 points. I'm going to say the final score would be somewhere in the neighborhood of Prairie View 34, Pine Bluff 17. So there you have it. I'm on record. My picks this week are Prairie View, Howard, and Gramlin. I want to remind you that we have also included some post-game reports and wrap-ups to be brought to you right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll hear wrap-ups from Gramlin State, Alcorn, Alabama A&M, Southern University, Mississippi Valley State, Texas Southern, Pine Bluff, Lincoln University, Tuskegee. We'll also hear from the Blend Buccaneers and our local high school teams. Those reports will be brought to you to get your football fix on and to keep you informed on what's going on in the world of football. And speaking of staying informed in the world of football, don't forget to join us the 1876 post-game show, that game will follow 30 minutes at the conclusion. Panthers battle with Pine Bluff. Whatever time that game ends, we'll start our countdown. And at that 30-minute mark, we'll jump right into our post-game show live. And you can check us out by going to our Facebook Live page on the Mike Prince Show. And we will have scores, highlights, and even some of your chiming in by way of texting through the portal and review what's going on, not only with PV Nation, but throughout the world of the SWAC and the MEAC. And don't forget, it all starts with the Carlos Brown Show on Saturdays. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. He'll talk about his beloved Jaguar Nation and the SWAC and the MEAC. A whole lot in store for you right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. In fact, we know that this is the kickoff of the 
conference play, but next week will be a critical week for the entire Southwestern Athletic Conference. Dallas, it's coming, 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 coming. September 29th, history will be made on this date. September 29th, in Dallas, Texas only. Multiple concerts. It only happens once per year. 70,000 people in one location. Thousands of people. All day activities. Don't change this station. Listen for more info. People are coming from Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, all over the country. Dallas, get ready. The biggest yet. The biggest yet. The biggest biggest one day event in the state of Texas. And it only happens once per year. This is an event where you can bring your whole family, your friends, your girls, your boys, your crew, an entire day of entertainment. It's happening September 29th, only in Dallas, Texas. Keep listening for more details for this major event. And most importantly, do not touch your radio dial. We'll talk about that as we creep through this weekend. I want to remind you and encourage you that you can become a listening partner today. You simply ask that you would commit at 17 cents a day, which is $5 a month, to help underwrite and support our programming here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Visit our website at obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button and become a subscriber today. Our message line. 713-570-6789. I want to thank you all so much for your inbox and support and accolades for my daughter and her receiving her National Honor Society induction. Very moving moment for us as parents. We thank you all for sharing that moment and your feedback with us. I must exit stage left. My time has come to an end for this day. I want to keep you encouraged and remind you about this. That no matter what appears to be stacked against you, you are never a loser. You give it all you got. I am the radio guy, the doctor. My friends, have a wonderful weekend. Blessed until the next time. We'll see you on the other side.